In state news, U.S. Transportation Secretary Boot, Boot, Pete Buttigieg made a stop in Birmingham today, and he's showing off a new bus transit system as an example of what further infrastructure funding can do to connect communities. News 19's Maddie Beer Temple is in Woodlawn, where that project was being unveiled. The Birmingham Express is set to start running in September. It's a 15-mile bus route starting in Woodlawn and going all the way down to Five Points West. Buttigieg was here touting the $20 million project funded through the Reconnecting Communities pilot program that's part of the infrastructure law. It's a major milestone that we have been working at throughout this administration. Buttigieg says the program will better connect neighborhoods previously cut off from economic opportunity by transportation infrastructure. Recognizing where taxpayer dollars isolated people or caused damage and using new resources to fix it, that's not divisive. What's divisive is a highway or railway or interchange that is dividing people from where they need to be in their own community and fixing it will make a whole community better off. Buttigieg also met with Congresswoman Terry Sewell and Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin to launch the program. Sewell says this program will help remedy past policies that separated people. It is by no happenstance that our railroads and our byways actually block in communities of color and those in underserved communities. It's estimated the bus system would help connect people to 130,000 jobs as well as UAB and other schools. The pilot program is taking applications from across the country starting today. Mayor Woodfin says the city will be applying. There are so many other projects that are in the queue. What I need to do is get with our local team and see where those pro where those projects lie in priority and then we will be applying for this but we're very excited about this reconnecting communities grant and opportunity for the city of Birmingham. Now Congresswoman Terry Sewell is the only member of Alabama's congressional delegation to have voted for the bipartisan infrastructure bill. In Birmingham, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.